Thank you for joining this lesson. Kindly subscribe and share the link with your friends. We're going to study linear motion and we're going to, to study velocity time graphs. Therefore, we are told that uh, a car traveling at 30 meters per second accelerates uniformly in 4 seconds to a velocity of 40 meters per second. It maintains this velocity for another 10 seconds before decelerating uniformly to rest in 3 seconds. Calculate the total distance traveled during this journey. Therefore, <clears throat> when we plot a velocity time graph, or else we sketch it, from that graph, the area under the graph gives us distance covered. So for a velocity time graph, we should know that when we calculate the area, it gives us distance covered. So area of the graph will be equal to distance covered in meters. Therefore, for us to know the distance covered by this car, then we can sketch the motion, the velocity time graph. So we are told that it starts at 30 meters per second. So initially it is at 30 meters per second. This is 30 meters per second. And now it is asked to accelerate in 4 seconds. So from time 0, from time 0 to 4 seconds, this car accelerates to a velocity of 40. To a velocity of 40 meters per second. Therefore, we have to mark that within 4 seconds, this vehicle has accelerated, or rather, the velocity has increased to 40. We are told further that it maintains this velocity for another 10 seconds. So now for 10 more seconds, <clears throat> it is still traveling at 40 meters per second. So from 4, adding another 10 seconds will take us to 14. 14 seconds. And now from 14 seconds, the velocity is the same. So it has to make, to sustain a velocity of 40 meters per second. Therefore, this one has to be uniform to show that the velocity is flat. Then after now traveling uniformly at 40 meters per second, the car decelerates. <clears throat> the car decelerates in 3 seconds. So in 3 seconds, from 14 seconds now in 3 seconds, it will land us at 17 seconds. And the velocity will be zero after those three seconds. So from 40 to zero in three seconds. From 40 to zero within three seconds. So we sketch the motion again here. So this is the time graph. <clears throat> the velocity time graph. And now we can calculate the area of the graph so that we may know the distance covered. So to calculate the area, we can divide the graph into different shapes. And we can divide the first portion into a trapezium. So the first shape is a trapezium. We have another one here, which is a rectangle. And finally, we have a triangle. <clears throat> Therefore, for the first shape, which we are saying is a trapezium, then the area is going to be half multiplied by the sum of the two parallel sides which is from 0 to 40 and from 0 to 30 so 30 and 40 added the two parallel sides then the distance between the two parallel sides which is from 0 to 4 therefore we use 4 in that case the other area is rectangular and we are from 4 to 14 which is 10 times that's the, the length times a width of <clears throat> from 0 to 40, which is just 40. It's already 400. We don't need a calculator for that. Then after that, <clears throat> the last shape is triangular. So we use a half times a base from 14 to 17. We said it's within 3 seconds. And from 0 to 40 is our height. So here we can have by 2, 1 and by 2, 20, such that we get 60. So this is a 60, 400. 
Then on this side, we can have by 2, 1 and by 2, 2, such that this is 70 times 2, 140. So the total distance traveled by this particle or this car will be 140 plus 400 plus 60. This gives us 600 meters. So the total distance traveled is 600 meters. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe and share the link.